Next up, one of the most hotly anticipated races here alongside the Open Women's. It's the Open Men's up next. They race together in the men's pair. They were sixth at the 2019 World Championships, but we'll see them in Tokyo at the Olympic Games. Cameron Buchan, part of the GB rowing team, another Tokyo hopeful. Last raced internationally in 2017, but you often see him vlogging on YouTube. So he's a well-known character. He's on ergo number 14. Boucheron looking for a 547. Androdias looking for 542. And we also have the Finnish international, Joel Naukarinen. He was silver medalist yesterday, but what can he do over this slightly longer distance of 2K now? Guillaume Turlan, Thibaut Verhoeven, Benoit Brunet, Barnaby Delars, goodness me, the names just go on and on. Some really big names. Maciej Zawojski from the Polish squad, Tatsuya Sukurama from Japan. Everywhere I look, I see more solid international names. Thibaut Remy's out there as well, Konstantinos Katsarvrias. All over the place, some big names looking to try to make their name here in front of the world audience. There's Barnaby Delars on number 17. Matteo Androdias on the left. Potentially two favorites competing Benoit Brunet looking for a 547. Most of these athletes will comfortably go sub six. There's Joel now Karinen from the Finnish squad, silver medalist in the 500 yesterday. We've seen athletes through the course of today struggling to get sub six with the exception of course of Vard uh, from the Belgian squad who did a 548 earlier. Well, these guys, many of these guys would be happy with that 548 but several of them will want to contest closer to the world best time. Thibaut Verhoeven from France on erg number 20, looking for a 550. Just off the left of this picture, we've got Cam Buchan with his Yam squad, Lycra on. There we go, it's rapid. Absolutely rapid stuff. Cam Buchan off to a good start there. A couple of short strokes, get that flywheel going. Vyazovkin off quickly as well for Russia. He might be the early leader at this stage. Really powerful few strokes from the Russian. It is Vyazovkin out in front. Six meters leading the rest of the field. Julien Monte second, Delars third, Couturier fourth, now Karin in fifth, Demain sixth. Already 150 meters into this race. Those first 200 just go by in the blink of an eye. Vyazovkin still at 42 strokes a minute, holding 119 as his split. He's got a 20 meter advantage on Delars already, coming up through 250. He's absolutely gone for it, stamping the Russian authority on the field here. Delars riding 21 meters behind him, striding down to 126 split at 38 strokes a minute. Vyazovkin strode down properly now. He's at 33, going for that pressure and emphasis. We look down the order, Julien Monte in third, Androdias in fourth, but pretty much level with Monte. Fifth, Alban Couturier. And sixth place, Thibaut Verhoeven. The field already very spread out. There's 20 meters to Vyazovkin at the front of the field. He was only targeting a 544, perhaps conservatively, because he's going really quick here and could well blow out the targets that have been set by Androdias and Delars we see on the big screen at the moment. These two were favourites, but I think based on the start, they're already through 500. Vyazovkin is motoring. Can he be caught? He's still holding a 126-127 split and pulling away with every stroke from Delars as they come up towards the halfway mark. This second 500 metre segment, so, so crucial to jostle for position because if they get this wrong, there'll be nothing they can do to get back on terms and try and contest one of the few places on that podium. Andrade is currently running in third place, eight meters behind Delars. Delars now starting to close in on Vyazovkin. Vyazovkin pulling 128 and Delars at 127. So they're right 
Uh, well, they're not quite right alongside each other, but Delars just knows the distance. He'll see on his display how many meters behind he is. You'll see that number starting to, to decrease. It's now 19 meters. Problem is, Vyazovkin will see the same. So the race is on at the front of the field here. The men's open category. Mathieu Androdias, the current French record holder, out in third place. Not quite on pace with his French record speed, where he'd be holding a 126 at the moment rather than the 129 he's holding now. Vizovkin still holding that 20 meter margin, passing the 1,000 meters. It really is an all French lineup behind the Russian and Swiss athletes at the front of the field. Can Cam Buchan get back into the action? He's just off the bottom of that list there in 11th place. Now moving up into 10th, another flag on the line out there. So we've got Russia, Switzerland, France and Great Britain in that top 10. Alexander Vyazovkin though is just looking so comfortable out in front. 36 strokes a minute, he's constantly looking over. It's one second he's looking at his monitor, the next second he's looking to his right. There's Cam Buchan alongside Couturier, alongside Boucheron, alongside Vyazovkin, then Androdias, then Delars. The big boys pushing fast. Benoit Brunet on the right, currently in sixth. These are the favourites. Alexander Vyazovkin on Erga number 15. 700 metres left to go. Still pulling 127s, but Delars at 128. The distance is just not changing now as we come up to 600 metres left. Delars is looking good for silver. If he doesn't do anything soon, he's got a... 18 meter advantage on Androdias, who's only got four meters up on Verhoeven. Verhoeven could get back into this action here from Verdun, Club Nautique. He'll be wanting to try and move up into medal contention. He's only got to make up five meters to compete with his fellow Frenchman, Androdias. Cambuchen moving up in towards Benoit Brunet territory here in sixth place. But Vyazovkin still dominating the front. 20 metres the margin. Delars in second, Androdias third, Verhoeven fourth, Boucheron fifth, Brunet sixth, and Bucken in seventh. This is such an impressive race. 300 metres left to go for the leaders out in front. Nobody can touch Vyazovkin at this stage. He went out like a rocket, and he's just clinging onto it. He doesn't even look tired. It's just absolute power through every stroke. He's racing 38. Delars goes to 39 to try and pump it up a little bit more. Androdias currently holding on to third. Five meters behind him, Verhoeven is at 126. He's gone up to 40 strokes a minute to try to move through and take that bronze medal. Cam Buchan's coming back though. Here comes Buchan for the Yam squad. Moving up, 127. He's only a few meters behind Verhoeven. He could contest for a medal place here. Verhoeven, Cam Buchan's right on his heels. Androdias in that third place. He's going to hold on seven meters ahead of Verhoeven. We're coming up to the line. Last few strokes here. Alexander Vyazovkin, the 2020 World Rowing Indoor Champion in the Open Men's category. Second place goes to Delars. Third, Andronias. Fourth, Verhoeven. Fifth is a close one. We'll have to wait for the results there. Fifth was awfully close. I think Bucken just dropped down the order a couple of places there, right on the line. I'm not sure how might have stopped rowing before the, the line, but we'll have to wait and see. Great race from Vyazovkin, though. Domination from the outset here for Russia. No time confirmed just yet. We'll wait for that to trickle through, but 5.43.5. There we have it. 5.43.5 for Alexander Vyazovkin. Barnaby Delars, 5.45.2. Matthew Androdias, 5.47.5. That's the one, two, three. Gold, silver, bronze here in the open category for men's 2,000 meters. Barnaby Delars, who finished second in that men's open category. His time, 5.45. Barnaby, how did that go for you? Uh, a bit slower than expected, but I think it's a good effort. I tried to stick to my plan, uh, which I did more or less. Uh, maybe a few tenths off, except, yeah, especially at the start because you get cut a few uh, tenths off because of the 
the go sign and then try to empty the tank at the end. So I got today. Vyazovkin, the Russian, he, um, he went out incredibly fast those first 250 meters. He built up about a 20 meter lead and then he, he was able to sit on you. Did you ever feel like you might be able to get back with him? Um, he flew a bit under the radar. I was reading on the who to watch on wall drawing and on the website and they all took, talked about Mathieu and me and no one about this guy but I looked it up and I knew he was really fast and I also knew his profile so the plan was to not get rattled at the 500 and if I got anything else um, try to catch it at the finish but he was a bit too far ahead. Yeah, no, he put in a, a great performance. But anyway, congratulations to you on your silver medal.